CBS 17 is your local election headquarters, and tonight we have confirmed a local company is playing a role in President Trump's re-election campaign. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stosko is live tonight in Raleigh. And Mackenzie, what'd you find out? Yeah, well, the 2020 presidential candidates have been crisscrossing the country and the Tar Heel State for the upcoming November election. And later tonight, this unofficial President Trump campaign bus will be hitting the road as well. Take a look. When you see it, you won't be able to miss it. This is right inside King Tut Graphics, and it's known as the Trump train, customized with the president portrayed as a shirtless Rocky Balboa with boxing gloves. Over here on the side, you'll spot the vice president smiling and former President Ronald Reagan and Queen Elizabeth also photoshopped on here with the Make America Great Again hats and the man behind this colorful concept is Buddy Hall. He's a Mississippi businessman and loyal Trump supporter. He and a friend tell me they used their own money to buy this massive bus and help the president get reelected. How much did you pay for this again? Well, the original owner of the bus had it custom made in Miami, Florida and paid $1.25 million for it. And we got a better deal than that on it. Um, and then we paid about $14,000 to have it wrapped. Worth it? Oh, every bit so. Now, from here, the bus will be stored in Wallace, North Carolina. Later this month, Hall will drive it to a Women for Trump rally in New Jersey. He plans on taking it to as many pro-Trump rallies as possible. And now this is just another example of the importance North Carolina will play in the upcoming November election. We know that Michael Bloomberg has already set up a field office here in Raleigh. That happened last week. And then coming up tomorrow, candidate Tom Steyer will be here in the Triangle area campaigning for the election. Live in Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News.